Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. Good morning also from Vienna. Thanks for having me. And uh, I'm very glad that we can uh, perform this acquisition. It's a very important one. It's the biggest one in the history of the company. And it gives us a very strong footprint in the renovation market, especially with respect to the roofs. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm on their website and I'm looking at the roofing solutions, the solar, the structure, the facade decorations. Well, it looks a really interesting business as well. Are you finding, Haimo, across the board that some of the inflationary pressures, and again, I talked about the price of this business as well, but some of the inflationary pressures for materials across your entire business, across your ecosystem, has it abated? Because my people, my friends in the industry, from my son to friends of mine as well, they're all telling me things seem a little bit easier than they were. It's a little bit easing up, yeah, indeed, because obviously from a supply perspective, internationally and globally speaking, the supply chain is, now, is not running much better and there's no constraints. And also from, uh, from a cost side, we see that uh, it has, it's now, I would so, sort of say, flattening out. It's not increasing much. However, keep in mind that especially in Europe, we will see additional uh, inflation increase due to labor costs that are currently going up significantly. We are talking here between 5 and 10 percent. So you will see this also in 2023. Just wanted to come back to the deal briefly. Um, this is subject to approval from the unions and also from the regulators. We know historically it's been a difficult country to do cross-border M&A with. Um, are you confident that this will go through and why are you confident? First of all, I think, uh, you know, I am educated in France. I spent a fair amount of life in my France. So it's not a, a difficult country as such. They have different systems at all, as all of us have. And the unions will approve this because they, they like us as an industrial operator and a long-term investor in the business. So I don't see a problem with the people. And we have great values in Wienerberger. With the antitrust authorities, I think also here we have a strong case. We are not that strong in roofing in Germany and in France. These are the two countries that are predominantly affected. So I'm, 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 we, we obviously analyze the situation deeply and thoroughly, and I'm very confident that we get this through. Coming back to, I think, Steve's second question, the environment that you're going to be operating in going forward. Obviously, inflation has been a concern. The, the wage element of that has been an issue in the construction industry. But now I think we're just looking at the, the, the consequences of the repricing of money and what that ultimately means for property prices and new construction projects. What's your forecast and expectation for Europe for next year? Well, if you look, you have to distinguish between the new build one and the renovation. And I think if we talk about the new build a minute, I do see that there will be a decline of around 15 percent in some countries a little more and countries less uh, with respect to new housing. Because obviously, as you correctly pointed out, prices have increased significantly, but above all, interest rates and the availability of loans for people who want to buy. So this is, I think, going to affect us uh, next year. I do think that the new build sector will um, sort of then level out at this uh, minus 15. Keep in mind also that already this year we had certain declines. So I think we are back at volumes and, and, uh, and the market in the new build, probably comparable to 2017-18 before Corona and before the sort of peak in 2021. Renovation, on the contrary, I do see and we feel it also it's a, a strong business, incentivized especially due to the climate change and the reduction of energy. And above all, today, everybody looks uh, at her or his uh, uh, sort of energy bill. And therefore, a renovation roof facade is something that people will do. And they are incentivized also by tax breaks or other uh, subsidies.